Dear friends, welcome to the Casina Pay of the Fall. And thank for your participation and your effort to come here, many of you from very long places. Welcome especially to those of you who are joining us for the first time. I am sure this is the beginning of a long collaboration. The Casina Pius IV is the headquarters of the Pontifical Academy of Sciences and Social Sciences. As say this marvel that you can see, the Academy of Sciences was founded in 63 by the Prince Chessy. But the leader was Galileo Galilei, as say in the marvel. In the primores socios a Galileo illustratam. And uh, the main disciplines cultivate since from the beginning was uh, physics, astrophysics, and biology. The Academy of Social Sciences was founded by the Pope St. John Paul II in 1994 as we can say, daughter of the Academy of Sciences, to focus more specifically in, on human, human sciences. And the Academy of Sciences was more for natural science, we can say. However, Pope John Paul keep the two academies in the same quartet, that is this, the Casina Pio, and under the same chancellor that, for the moment, I am. As you know, our subject is biological extinction. The encyclical Laudato Si deals with this topic in conjunction with climate change. The two main theses of Laudato Si, which are inspired by the work of our academies, are the following. For the Academy of Sciences, climate change based on human activities which use fossil fuels, it is in practice global warming. As has been said in other workshops here, global warming alter the water cycle, that is the passing from the solid to liquid and then a gaseous state. This cycle is essential to life on the Earth. If this cycle were altered substantially, all life would be extinct. The main question about the seven new exoplanets, which see similar to our system solar, is in fact where they have water or not. The second thesis, which is related to the work of the Pontifical Academy of Social Sciences, is that those who suffer from the effects of climate change are poor people in the rich countries or the poorest countries. These are precisely the people who obtain not advantage from the use of fossil fuels. For the encyclical, the extinction of life is basically a consequence of human activities which use fossil fuels, creating pollution, but also of profit-seeking human activities which cause deforestation and land degradation, as well as contaminating rivers, for example, through mining activities using toxic substances. My hope is that this workshop helps us progress in the understanding of the problem of extinction in the light of the encyclical. And with this hope, I open the workshop. Thank you very much for your presence here.